So you'll often want reference images in while you're sculpting. To do this, go to the texture menu and hit import. What we're going to do now is bring this into the spotlight. Browse to a folder that you like, where your images are, uh, and you can either control select or shift select as many images as you'd like. Hit open to load them all in. Once we've done this, these textures are now in ZBrush, but not actually added to the spotlight yet. We need to select each one in turn and hit the add to spotlight button like this. These are now all getting added. Once they're done, they're now in the spotlight. The way the spotlight works is that if you click on an image, you'll see that the, the dial moves onto the image and we can move that image around. Um, if we don't click on an image, if we click outside the dial, we will move all of the images at the same time. So if you decide you, you want to make one image larger, do that, place it wherever you need to have it. Um, there are several tiling options, such as Tile Unified, this option over here. And with that option, it will all tile uniformly regardless of their original size. You can change the opacity by using this and bring them up to maximum opacity if that makes things clearer for you. Um, one top tip for this is to maybe move one out and then click anywhere in the canvas to move them all out of the way while you work on this one. If you only need one visible at a time and at any given time you can just tile unified to get them all back. Um, you can tile uh, selected which will take the currently selected one in this case this one here and we'll make that the largest one and the rest smaller than it. Uh, if we choose this tile selected will do the same thing. And there's also tile proportional which will tile them in proportion to the dimensions of the images as they really are. Um, but this is probably the most useful just initially to get them and place them. Once you're happy with them and you know what you want, place them wherever you want them, at the scale you want them, the size you want them, whatever. Um, and once you're happy with that, now we need to save the spotlight. The first thing to be aware of before we do this is that pressing Z will turn off the dial. And pressing Shift Z will turn off the whole spotlight. So Shift Z will toggle spotlight on and off. Z on its own, or Z on its own, will turn the dial on and off. When the dial is off, in theory you can sculpt. Um, but if you try and take a standard brush and start sculpting on this, you'll see that nothing happens. This is because spotlight projection is turned on. By default, it's expecting you to want to project the color onto this, onto your object. So if we go to our brush menu, under samples, you'll see that we have spotlight projection. So turn that off if you want to be able to sculpt while you're doing, while you have these images on screen. You must remember to do that. One of the reasons I suggest that you put this under samples, spotlight projection, put this on your interface and then you'll immediately see that it's on and you can quickly turn it off when you're working. Once you're done, go back to the texture menu and hit save spotlight. I suggest putting this into the spotlights folder. In ZBrush, um, let's call this Calvin and Hobbes. And once you've done that then, the next time you open up ZBrush, if you want to load that spotlight, you just go to, you press the comma key or open up the light box, um, go to the spotlight folder, and you'll see that you have a Calvin and Hobbes there. When you double click that, that will load this spotlight. Okay, hope this helps.